In the early days of Louisiana, travel around the state was primitive to say the best. Trips taken by boat, wagon, or horseback proved long and difficult. But because Louisiana is a land of bayous and rivers, travel by water in a bateau, barge, flatboat, or more elegantly in one of the steamboats that sailed the Mississippi and Red Rivers proved the most convenient. Louisiana's old state capital sits high on a natural hill facing the river. When it was built, passengers making their way down to or up from New Orleans would have been suitably impressed by the size and grandness of the structure and by the power of the state it represented. But by the late 1800s, the steamboat days were almost over. Increasingly, people traveled by railroad and by the early 1900s, Baton Rouge and Louisiana were connected into a national network. The Illinois Central built a new railway station in Baton Rouge in the 1920s, located right between the old state capital and the river. Today, it is the home of the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. Like river travel, though, within a few decades, the heyday of railroads likewise had come to a close. To be replaced by modern highways in the 20s and 30s, and then by interstates in the 50s and 60s. Baton Rouge's Huey P. Long Bridge was completed in 1940, north of town. Then the big I-10 bridge opened in 1968, within a stone's throw of the old state capitol. Witness to all these changes through time, Louisiana's castle still stands watch over the passing parade of humanity.